Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. Hey, we just did the direct heat method with ribs. I gotta be honest with you, we haven't tried them yet, but they're fantastic to make. They smell amazing. They're smoky, they're barky, they're charcoaly. Everything that I crave in ribs, I hope they're as good as they look. You guys wanna see how we make it? Here we go. All right, before we get started messing with that charcoal and getting the grill ready for those hot and fast ribs, we're gonna make a mop sauce. Uh, we did it on our whole hog. It came out fantastic. So I'm gonna mirror those flavors today. Butter. Just sweat those onions down and melt that butter. We've got four heads of garlic. I'm just going to uh, basically just give it an old karate chop. It's an interesting technique, honey. Uh, it works. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar. Black pepper, W sauce, hot sauce, juice of half a lemon. Bring that together and let it simmer down. All right, we're gonna use some beer. I like the apple cider beer when it comes to this. I drink them, but uh, for something like this, I think the flavors go fantastic. It looks anywhere between like eight and 12 ounces. Just make sure you save some for yourself about right and it cut all that sharpness with the hot sauce and the lemon and vinegar throw a little brown sugar at the end and just let that dissolve i'm just going to turn this down and let it simmer down a little bit let all those ingredients come together While our Weber's heating up, we have two racks of ribs. Try to get them as close together as possible. 1103, 1025 look good to me. So we're just gonna take these out, give them a once over, see if we need to trim anything off. And then we're gonna season them with our Texas rub. Just gonna come back here just one time. Just give these a score. It's gonna actually protect your ribs. Plus, I like to leave them on anyways. Even if I'm not doing direct heat, I just score them like that, good to go. I think the direct heat uh, will probably cook the membrane hard enough where you'll be able to go through it, no problems. These are nice and trimmed up. So, just score it just like that. Presentation side down. Let me go wash my hands and we'll season them up. No binder, no nothing. I know. I do know one thing. I don't necessarily know if I want to use Q that or uh, seasoning with sugars in there, especially dealing with direct heat like that. Be a little skittish or nervous. Maybe I'm wrong. Just old salt, pepper, garlic, and seasoned salt. Obviously, you got to hit those sides. Coals are looking good. If you notice, not too many on the chimney. And we're going to uh, just spread these around a nice even layer. Ooh, that's hot. Yep. We're going to adjust our temps. About halfway, close that off. We're looking at about 300 to 325. Okay, the biggest thing I tell you is when it comes to something like this, especially direct heat is you don't have to fill your chimney up all the way with coals because obviously the more coals you have, the hotter it is. And really the reason why I picked this grill today was because the ability to adjust the temp. So we're gonna close the lid. Um, I'm gonna give it a good go. We're gonna come up to about maybe with that much coal, let's come up to about three, about 250. Once it gets up to 250, I'm gonna start closing my dampers down. I wanna hone on about 300. Closing that lid obviously helps the uh, coals from catching on fire. So when you're dealing with direct heat, that's important. Probably one of the best things I could do on the Weber uh, Summit. I've been asked many, many, many times, many times, and I kept putting it off and putting it off because we deal so much with pellet smokers. But since we got into the Weber Kettle 22 inch uh, series and we started to bring this out more, I thought it'd be a perfect time. So thank you for pushing me for doing this. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. And I think it's gonna be fantastic. You guys love, no yeah, da, 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 da. you guys know I love my charcoal. See, look, we're already at 250, it doesn't take long. Wow, that was fast. So we're gonna close our dampers down. 
Let's get it stabilized about 300 and then we'll put those ribs on. I want this to come off unboastful. <laughs> to me, it's lucky. Like I already know my grill very well. So I kind of had an idea of what um, gas and brake to put on. But to be pegged at 300 with that much coal in there, I felt pretty, pretty happy about that. That's not cocky. That's just being uh, truthful. So um, we stabilized at that. It's been about 15 minutes and I couldn't be happier. I got lucky, really. So we're going to raise the grate up. I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to sprinkle some wood chips around it. And then for a little side treat, just off to the side, maybe one there, one there, some wood chunks and post oak. Oh, it smells good. So now we're just gonna keep an eye on it, keep turning it, uh, whatever needs to happen. I've never done these before actually. So uh, I'm gonna keep very close eye on my temps, uh, flip them back and forth and really just work in the charcoal grills. All right, I was able to bump the temp up a little bit, which is what I was looking for. I don't know if it's too early to uh, flip. Like I said, I've never done this before, but we can learn together. Mm. How long has it been? Jeez, oh, I have no idea. 15 minutes, maybe? I'm going to keep that lid closed. The longer you keep this lid open, the more oxygen in there, the more your... Uh, coals are going to catch fire so we're going to keep that temp down so i have been adjusting my dampers when i first put the ribs on the temperature stabilized about 250 which i thought was kind of odd um so i opened the dampers let it climb up to about 300 which got me above the 300 about 325 i was able to close the dampers my target is about 300 if it goes up or minus i don't care but i've just been adjusting as i go as i need gas brake you name it we finally fought it got it dialed in about 300 Ooh, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, use that mop sauce that we had. Get this side first. I'm gonna flip it over and then do the other side. If it's going to taste as good as it smells, I'm already loving it. I just hope it is. That's a lot of, I love that open coal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. I am happy. So we're averaging anywhere between 196 and 200. Um, I will have to check my phone to see what the temps are. I've got just a little bit of sauce left over. Um, I've been brushing it constantly, uh, just flipping, checking my fires, add a little bit more wood, add a little bit more coal, put a little bit more of that mop sauce right there because we're going to wrap these up while they cool down. Dang, that looks good. I'm literally, I've never tasted them. And if they taste as good as they, they feel, smell. Do they feel tender? Because that would be my concern. You know, I think it's a different tenderness. I think it, I don't know. We're going to wait and see. So we're going to let these rest about 160 degrees, maybe 155. And then we will slice into them. Ah, I'm happy. That's my way of grilling right there. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, roughly two and a half hours later, I cannot be more happy. I have absolutely no idea how old they're going to taste, but I can tell you right now, they were a fantastic cook. I mean, I 
haven't enjoyed cooking something like this in a long time. Maybe because I've never done them. Maybe because I thought that it was going effortlessly. Like I didn't really have any problems. The grill definitely hovered around 300, sometimes 325, sometimes 280. Um, the color looks fantastic. The smell is amazing. So we're going to dive into them. Mm. I'm glad I didn't add a sauce. Maybe when you wrap them, like I'm, I'm talking about like the last two to three seconds, minutes, maybe you could sauce them. Um, you could definitely put like a, um, a simple syrup over top if you like that sweetness. I want to keep it natural as possible. I just can't emphasize. I hope this is good as it looks. <laughs> Smells amazing. You also had that mop sauce you were using. That's true. Golly, they cut easy. You do I mean, still get a little smoke ring. They're juicy. And I didn't add much smoke besides the lump charcoal. Very, very, very wood added it. Mm. <laughs> Look at that pulling off the bone. Yeah, that's how I like my ribs. Let me see. Mmm. 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 Damn. Mmm. Like, give me a, wait, mm. get another Hang on. one. Hang on. Get I'm another, not done with this one. Get another one. Mm. I want another bite. The mop sauce was perfect. You still taste the meat. I don't like when a rib like you only try this. tastes sugar. All right, so low and slow is typically smoky. You know, like charcoal. Yeah. Okay. This is my fast oldest. Fast and high. Yeah. Fast and high. That's... Hot and fast. Just take a bite of that. See what you think. Tenderness, smokiness. Here. I'm telling you right now, to the person that kept commenting <laughs> over and over and over again, direct heat wing, uh, direct heat ribs. It mm. is super good. Good. It's. It doesn't taste as smoky, but it tastes sweeter. Well, that could be that mop sauce. You like the charcoal, the sauce that I put on there, the charcoal flavor? Yeah. Mmm. <sighs> it is really good. Mmm. That was good. It's a winner. Give me another bite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ow. Mmm. Thank you. Missed the rib from my finger. <laughs> I don't think there's a better 1A or 1B. I don't think it's like one versus two. I think it just depends on what method you want to go with, but we've mm -hmm. proven these things are, they're fall off the bone. I did not expect that. Um, they're juicy. Yeah, I didn't expect them to be that tender. But I would cook them, knowing it only took two and a half hours, changes the game. I'm, I, I cannot stop, these are, these are good. Sorry. Get demonetized. I know. <laughs> these are good. I, I am very thankful that we did these. God, these are good. I'm going inside and enjoying them. All right, guys, there you go. <laughs> Direct heat ribs, I'm telling you, if you haven't done them, they got to be on your bucket list. They are phenomenal. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. These would be perfect with a sweet treat after. <laughs> Ooh, sweet treat. <laughs> What's for dessert, Daddy? <laughs> Banana pudding.